kill the motherfucker. You ready to kill this session tonight, man? Man, you know the vibes. It's old man. Yeah, I know the vibes, but I know I know we're trying to get this hit record. And I know you the guy to get it, so you know, do what we gonna do, but we can ready to get up out of here so we can get down get in this booth. Yeah, so. Stay ready, you don't gotta get ready, right? Absolutely, son. Take a report. Take the motherfucking they ain't ready for it. You know, step on it's business. been a dream. It's been a dream of yours for a few years now. Glad we get an opportunity to put something on your dream. It's old. You know, put something on that dream. The dream is real, like Raheem told me. Raheem Devon. Raheem Devon. Raheem Devon. Let me, let me serve you up. You're the customer. If you want to supersize with some loving on the side. You never heard that joke? Oh, woman, woman, woman. woman. No, it's not. No, it's, no, no, it's not. It's really not. You don't know who Raheem Devon is? No, I No, seriously. You know who Raheem Devon is? Raheem is Grammy nominated several times over. Mm -hmm. Bad boy. But look, man, go ahead and hurry up, put that thing together, man, so we can get on out of here, all right? Say so yes. Say my name three times on the candy man. So many birds outside call it candy land. Pussy nigga turn the house. They like, who nigga, nigga? Brought them bananas for the monkeys in the zoo, nigga. I wasn't writing the music, I wasn't producing the music, you know, but they all wanted to know what is Rob thing, you know? And so that was heavy, heavy for me in the sense of giving me credibility to and validity to my creative direction and my production and, and things, you know? It, it kind of validated me to, to know how to take something from the beginning, a project from the beginning. South. When it's just um, an idea from a young artist that comes and says, "Hey, I want to be a, a singer or a rapper," or, and you know, and they have a, a dream, you know, I try to work with their dream and their vision and create the relationships, right South. Put, put, people, put people in place to make it, you know, make it all manifest. So I have that under my belt as far as you know, background. You can kind of separate just. Uh, I'm in the game or I've been doing business and I'm doing this, but you know, don't have no publishing. Some, a lot of people don't know what publishing is, you know, and in order to be recognized by an industry, you have to be registered in securing that industry. You can't just be a creative entity in the world and think that you're doing business in the music industry. Cause it's definitely a separation of uh, independent people who move you know, and doing their vision, and they, they it's not saying that they're not creatives, and I saying that they're not dope, it's saying that nobody has uh, kind of given them the information that they need to go about it, you know, to becoming an uh, industry level artist, or producer, or engineer, or photographer, or videographer, it's all levels to it, on, in that when everybody has a part in a music project. You know, there, there are significant roles for each individual that does each one of those jobs and has those titles. And when you put it all together and you get great records out of it and a great artist that understands and, and has a vision and is, uh, and is uh, able to and, and open to growth and learning the game and, you know, growing into it, then you got a winning combination, you know, because, you know, a lot of these artists regionally sometimes they just you know everybody got jobs and people got to work so it's like straddling a fence whereas in atlanta people just 24 7 in the music business you know so it's a different dynamic here to try to get it done hey let's go get this money bro, the shit gonna be fine man you do this shit bro 
It's my man Will, Quality Touch. Hey, it's over. It's over. It's over. That's what's up, man. How you been, bro? Whew. Getting that money, man. What's this, what's this third, fourth session of the day? <laughs> this will be number three. Mm -hmm. L O R mm -hmm. space P O R T. Gotcha. And what's the name of the song? Um, uh, PG. So I'm working on this track that I got sent uh, over by Trap Moguls, uh, and the song's called PG Nigga. And we about to just rep my hometown, rep where I'm from, uh, PG County, Maryland, and we about to go off. Nice. A Maryland Entertainment yeah. Group. AMEG. Hashtag Taylor motherfucking right, so pool. Verse, it's the nice guy. Two more verses. You had you didn't change the rap on it. It was just a little late, and you could hear it. Okay, we can uh, we can do it over again. Now anything that's gonna be off time and it's gonna be done when we do ins and outs and ad libs and stuff. Yeah, no, I know. All right, all right, all right. I got you. <clears throat> Getting this record real quick. Checking levels. Checking levels. Need this money and equity. See? Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> I'm better than that. Come man, on now. You gotta... <laughs> on the board. Hoodie. Yeah, white folks about. There we go. Let's catch that. Fix that up. Yeah. On my way to the top, will you step with me? I can't reach your mind until left. He's very coachable, but he's also very creative. So you can guide him only because he doesn't have the experience in the in the booth at this point but he's gaining it, he's a fast learner, so I can see the professional side of him coming out. So I'm very happy with what, what we have so far. Just trying to find a melody, I'm like, real PG nigga, I gotta go get us. It's about time you know. Drive down 210, hop by booth and fill my lungs with smoke. Oh my God, keep my eyes on the road. And don't blow my high just because you feeling low, yeah. And I don't know what I could be, but Taylor motherfucking port, he said.